Hi all. Join me in today's episode in which I am sharing my work day, how I balance my 9 to 5 job, personal time, it was so good. and social life. We always think how to find work life balance. Most of us find it extremely hard because we work from home at least 2 or 3 days a week. We don't know where to draw the line, how to separate the two. What I find easier is whenever I work from home, I hit the gym first thing in the morning, really early when my kids are still in bed. Good morning. It was a very nice workout and a very refreshing shower as well. Me and Pati are going to be working from home, so it's going to be a little bit relaxing day. Kids are getting ready to school. I have to quickly go and make their breakfast. I'm going to make a very nice healthy juice for them because see during winters there's no sunlight at all and we won't get any vitamin D and when we don't have vitamin D, we won't have enough calcium, vitamin C and also iron. Lots of things will happen and we'll feel tired all the time tired and sleepy so we need to keep upping our vitamin d and vitamin c this juice is full of that it's a very simple juice which i learned from my mom i'll show you i'm using fresh gooseberries that i bought from asian stores you can also use dried gooseberry or even gooseberry powder that's also available it is so rich in vitamin c This curry leaves and gooseberry juice is an excellent morning drink to kickstart your day. It is like taking liquid iron and vitamin D. I find it's amazing for hair growth and also keeps skin healthy during colder months. I will also add some pumpkin seeds. Jeera and yogurt. Wow, it has started snowing now. I think today is the first day of snow this winter. Pathi is going to drop the kids at school because um, I've got an early start today. I've got a meeting very early this morning. Pati is also picking up the girls from school so I am at home full day but I am going shoe shopping tonight. It's the most stressful time believe me. You know some people they have beautiful beautiful all beautiful shoes with heels and everything. You know what I can't wear heels I can't wear all those beautiful shoes. All I can wear is flat shoes otherwise I get foot pain. I really 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 envy them. I love shoes so much but I can't wear fancy shoes. I'm going to buy my trainers even buying trainers is so difficult my foot is a bit wider so i have to try many shoes and i have to ask them measure it there it's a long process it's a long process you don't want to get into that it's boring really boring 
so i'm going for my shoe shopping and also i'm going to see some christmas decorations as well we have got some decorations but every year we add something new we buy something new decorations every year so so it'll be fun seeing all the decorations and everything so let's go it's not going to be easy to find the right shoes for me it's going to be really really stressful i know that i can't go by the looks of the shoe i can't i have what i need is a functional shoe this looks good isn't it it looks good but i can't go by the looks oh my shoes this looks good too Two shoes right now. This black one is so boring color. I don't like full black shoe anyway for trainers at least. This one and the other one. This is okay. Mm, it's also a bit boring thing. These days you get all the bright colored shoes. But what to do? I have to settle down for what I can wear, <laughs> not what I fancy wearing. <laughs> Yay! Finally I got my boring all black trainers. At least I was lucky to get it. I should be thankful to the staff there. They were really helpful. We are looking at some Christmas decorations. We are at IKEA now. I want to buy a few things here. I love the smell of pine trees. There is something about them that makes it really really soothing. I just love the fresh smell of Christmas trees. It's a glorious smell. I'm making a very quick dinner for us. It's a layered vegetable pie. You can make it in a pan. It's so delicious. You can add any vegetable to this pie. You can even make this pie with cooked chicken pieces or meat. The choice is endless. I'll be adding some bell peppers. I harvested these peppers fresh from our garden yesterday. I'm going to take one egg and then add a glass of milk with it and then beat it really nicely. You don't have to make it fluffy but everything has to mix really well. And then add some salt, pepper powder, mix it again. I'll be adding one cup of wheat flour with it, one teaspoon of baking powder, It needs to be in this consistency, really smooth and silky.
This is a very, very tasty, lovely vegetable pie. It's a layered pie. We are going to eat our dinner and then we are going to decorate our Christmas tree. Yay! Party has brought out the Christmas boxes from Attic. This is a Halloween light. It's going to take ages. <laughs> so much effort. <laughs> oh, Everything is tangled. Thank you. Uh, it's going to be a nightmare. A nightmare for me. Oh my god. Pick it here. Okay. Some more string lights are missing. You know the soft lights, they are missing. We had one more box. Okay, might be in the garage. Let me check it out. No, it's in the attic, I think. Yeah. I'll show you the Christmas ornaments, tree ornaments that we have. We collect a few things here and there every year. Something unique, something different. If I see it somewhere, then I'll collect. This is like a stocking. It's nice, isn't it? Jude stocking. It's lovely and ethnic as well. This is a gift from my daughter Susie's friend. It's also a box. This one is a nutcracker. I have a few of them, a set of nutcrackers and also a tree ornament. See, you can hang it in the tree. And a turtle dove, right? Yeah, I've got two pairs of them. But I'm not sure if they are turtle dove. <laughs> like a Christmas tree small one. And these ones I really loved. Kind of a snow globe with the penguin inside. It's a lovely ornament. We have quite different ones. Wherever I see nice baubles, nice decorations and beads, I buy them. I love tinsel as well. I'm crazy about tinsel, Christmas tinsels. This glass one is really nice, isn't it? But it's very delicate. You need to be very careful. We have broken quite a few of the glass baubles. It's also not safe if you have got toddlers. They might break it. See the wires as well. We didn't pack it properly last year. At least this year we need to do it proper. Are you ready for puppy trip, girls? Dog yeah. trip! Dog trip! Yay! Yay Dog puppy trip. trip! Yay! It's the next day and we are going on a road trip to buy a dog. Yes, a dog. My kids have been asking for a puppy for years. But I kept saying no. I know it's a lot of hard work having a dog at home. But uh, finally we have decided to get a puppy. How many? Do we call it a dog trip or puppy trip? It's such a wet day today. It's been like this since morning. We've got a Christmas party this evening. 
I hope the rain stops before that. A lot of friends are coming. They're all commuting to central London. It may be hard for those using public transport. Let's go and see your dog. Girlies, it's raining. What, you didn't bring your food? You didn't bring your coating? I'm so, so excited. This is the first time I ever have a dog in my life. Even as a child, I didn't have a puppy. I'm so excited. And also a little bit scared. <laughs> I don't know why, but I'm scared. Sorry, right. she's insurance. She's vaccinated. Oh, don't, don't eat me. Oh, baby. Yeah. Oh, she's trying to lift me. Did you actually lift me? I think that's what she's doing. I eat whatever. This is not. More expensive. Hello, baby. Hello, baby. Hello. Girls, do you love the puppy? I don't love the puppy. You don't? I super duper dobby love him. <laughs> you love it, dobby the puppy. You? Are you thinking about names now? Puppy. Yeah, we need to name her. Puppy. Yeah? Puppy. Yeah. Toffee. Toffee? Toffee? That's a good name. And yeah. she looks like Toffee. Yeah. Her color is like a Toffee. She's adorable. She's adorable. Bun bun. Bun bun. That's also nice. We have decided to buy the puppy, but we need to buy a few other things before. For taking the puppy home, we need to register with the vet and everything. We are going to do all that first and then get the puppy next Friday. It's still pouring down. We decided to eat lunch outside because already it's late and we need to get ready for the Christmas party. Vegetarian Thai noodles for me. It is so inviting. I just love Thai food. Sam has got chicken katsu. Which one to wear? I'm a little confused. This peach skirt, this is my favorite to do layered uh, skirt, but it's too plain for parties. Right? But I can pair it up with a sequenced top, or I love this purple dress. It has got an embellished neck. This is also plain, but um, I can pair it up with a blazer with sequins. That's a party blazer. 
it's not raining now but look at the traffic <laughs> because it's saturday there's a lot of traffic in london no sunny you know in the congestion zone yet yeah. it comes on dark ultra low emission zone yeah no 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 we won't be stuck here it's just 3.4 miles from here we're nearly there Please leave the roundabout at the second exit onto East Ferry Road. This is the Grand Cholan restaurant where we are going to have our party. We are having the party upstairs. We booked the entire hall for us. This restaurant has amazing water view. It is situated in Canary Wharf and the night view is amazing here. Lights reflecting in the water. It's just incredible. I'll show you at night. It was so much fun. We had a great night with friends, delicious food, music and dance. It's a Christmas party to remember for a long long time. It is hard to put into words, so I will let the photos and videos speak for themselves. snow tonight yeah they're spreading salt everywhere good morning what a night it was it was fantastic fabulous party with lots of friends so much of good food tasty yummy yummy food it was nice great company great food we had so much fun this morning we called up the person who we went to see the dog yesterday but uh, the puppy is gone they said before we paid the money because we went to the party last night we couldn't pay it straight away this morning i was going to pay party was going to pay but then they said somebody else already booked the puppy my kids are a bit sad you know a lot sad 
<laughs> they are very sad but um, but we have promised them we are definitely getting a puppy for them they are very particular about getting a cockapoo that's the problem we get other dogs here other puppies in our area but cockapoo is not available there were a couple of puppies available in harlow but they are gone as well but we have found four puppies available in cambridge so we are going on a two and a half hour drive to cambridge next weekend to buy the puppies to see them first and if the kids like i'm going to buy it straight away so this week we are buying all the essentials that we need to keep a puppy at home everything food crate everything the cozy things for them they've given a big list of items i'll show you what are the things i buy when i go shopping pet shopping so excited it's like we are going to get a new baby <laughs> almost like that there is a lot of garden work today after breakfast we are heading straight to the garden to tidy up the garden for winter we plant lot of vegetables every year every spring and summer we have a huge harvest even this year we had so much of harvest so much of lovely lovely organic vegetables we had lot of tomatoes pumpkins cucumbers courgettes and the cruciferous vegetables all the cruciferous vegetables i had broccoli cauliflower cabbage everything we had lots of chilies this year different varieties of chilies it was so lovely to have such fresh vegetables we actually distributed a lot of vegetables to our friends as well friends and neighbors we had plenty of beans also this year we all enjoyed fresh vegetables throughout the summer this year so for getting the garden ready for planting next year we need to tidy it up and we need to get it ready i'll show you how we make the garden ready for next year And that's it for today's one and I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Thank you for watching till the end and I'll see you with a new video really soon. Take care. Bye-bye.